Okay, here's a perfect example of how to choose your club for this type shot. So I've probably got 30 yards to the flag. There's a lot of break and a lot of pitch and slope and you want to roll it like a putt. So you try to get the ball on that green as soon as possible and get it running. So I know that it's not going to be the sand wedge, the pitching wedge, it could be the nine iron, but since it's uphill at the start, I'll actually want less spin. So I think it's between the eight and the seven iron. So what I would do is I would start with the eight iron and, for, and try a few chips. I'm going to take my glove off here. I like chipping with no glove, get a better feel for the, the grip. And I'll just see if I can get a better feel for how the ball rolls. That's a pretty good choice. So it probably probably carries eight yards and rolls the rest. That's what I'm saying. If I had less spin on that ball or more spin, it would come up real short. So let's try the seven iron and see how I do. Actually might do better with the seven. It's a little shorter swing and a little more accurate swing because it's shorter. Get it up over the hill. And that's with no practice. That's pretty good right there. Let's try another one. I won't take it up as quite as far. Just one, two. Carry it on the front of that green. Let it run. It's down grain at the end. So that's a makeable putt. All those are pretty good. And with a little practice, you can get really good at lobbing the ball. Letting that ball roll like that. That's even better. So you see, all those putts are makeable. I've got my par in front of me. So that's much better than trying to hit your sand wedge, your nine iron. 